Saudi-based Aojan Industries is present here at this year's Gulf Food in Dubai. And to tell us more about the company's goals is uh, Michelle Al-Khadib, Vice President for Business Development and Strategy. Michelle, you target $1 billion sales in 2012. How exactly are you going to do this? Thank you very much, Zina. Um, well, at Aojan Industries, we're a big... Uh, we have big hopes for our growth, inshallah, and we are consistent in terms of what we want to grow in the next five years. So one of the targets that we have achieved already is exceeding the $500 million sales target for our team back in 2009. And now that we have seen how much uh, our brands have offered for the region and how much growth we can drive in the region and within the beverage segment in the Middle East um, uh, food and beverage industry, we believe that within the next two years we will be touching the $1 billion sales target, which is almost doubling what we've had back in 2009. And part of the five-year strategy is building facilities in 2013 when customer demand is expected to increase significantly. Absolutely. I mean, we have a total investment plan. It's not only inclusive of the manufacturing facilities that we would like to have between the Middle East and the greater Manessa region, between starting from India, as far as India and Malaysia, all the way up until West Africa and Morocco. All of the markets that we currently operate within our brands, Rani, Barbican, and Vimto, have the potential that would require um, a lot of investment, an enormous investment, so that we can fuel this growth in terms of manufacturing facilities, in terms of modernizing our current facilities within Saudi Arabia, Dubai and Iran in terms of making sure that we have the right communication investment when it comes to talking to the right consumer segments in all of the countries that we operate. Uh, Michelle, just how much is Aojan Industries planning to invest over the next five years to achieve its goal? When we talk about the manufacturing facilities, for example, it's, it will be exceeding around $100 million when we talk about the new manufacturing facilities, at least. And this is judging by the experiences that we've had in the past in terms of investments. In addition, as I said, we're not only investing in, in new manufacturing facilities, but we're also making sure that our current manufacturing facilities and the markets that we operate are also equipped for the growth so that we can fuel our growth for the brands that we have. Thank you very much, Michal. That was Michal Al-Khadib, Vice President for Business and Strategy of Aojan Industries here at Gulf Food in Dubai.